Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to take you through using the Fetch API to send or post form data. Okay, so we're basically going to implement this login form right here and we're going to use Fetch to actually send through the username and password. Okay, so inside my text editor we have here the index.html file and the form. So we have two two inputs here, the IMP username and the INP password, okay? And inside this login.php file, we're going to send this information to this PHP file right here and then simply just print out or dump out the post data, okay? So um, pretty straightforward. So let's go inside the JavaScript now and use fetch to actually send through this information or the contents of this form. Okay, so let's just first get a reference to the actual form element itself. So let's make a new constant called my form equal to document.getElement by ID. We're going to pass in my form into there. Okay, so now we're going to add the on submit event listener to the form. So we can say my form .add event listener on the submit event. We're going to run this function inside here. Okay, so we have access to the e event object. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to prevent the page from reloading or navigating away um, when you actually submit the form. So we're going to say e.prevent default. Instead, we're going to use fetch to actually send through that data. Okay, so um, we've got that right there. So down here, we're going to do the process of actually sending through the data using fetch. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. The first way is sending the data through with the content type of multi part slash form data. So you can basically mimic this right here using fetch. Okay, or you can do it by sending it through as a URL encoded string as if you were to submit this form um, just like this. Okay, so let's, let's explore these two methods. Um, the first one will be the multi-part slash form data. So, to achieve this, we're going to want a form data object. Okay, so down here, let's make a new constant and call this one form data, which will be equal to a new form data object. And we're going to pass this inside there. So basically here, we're making a new form data object based on this form. So this refers to the actual form itself. And this form data object is basically just a collection of key value pairs, which match um, the username and the username's value and the password and the password's value. Okay. So we have our data stored inside this form data object. All right. So now we can simply pass this into the fetch API. So down here, let's make the fetch request. We're going to make the request to the login.php file. And we're going to pass a few options inside here. We're going to say the method is going to be the post method. Okay. And the request body is going to be the form data. So you can actually pass through the form data here and fetch is going to automatically um, set the content type of the request to be multi-part slash form data. Okay, cool. So down here we can just say when the response comes back, we're going to just log to the console the text. So we can say return response.text and down here once we have text we can just console.log the text. So we should see here the actual PHP output. Okay. And if anything goes wrong, we can, uh, just like usual, we're going to console.error and pass through the error object inside there. Okay. So I can save this and then refresh my browser. And then I can type some data inside um, these two fields. So we can say decode here and then the password will be let's just say decode YouTube. I can press login and we have here in the developer console, uh, we have here the actual um, request. If I open this up and scroll down, 
the request header for content type is as you can see here multi part slash form data and further down we have here the form data submitted okay cool and inside the console we have here our PHP output so you can see it's worked and um, the data has been sent through okay so that is the first way of um, sending through form data the second way is going to be through um, well it's going to be using the content type of a URL encoded string instead so um, basically just like you submit the form um, like normal okay so to achieve this um, we're going to want to use um, the URL cert params object okay so instead of passing through the form data like this using the form data object we're going to pass through an instance of the URL search params alright so down here let's make a new constant call this one search params which will be equal to a new instance of URL search params so this one right here is going to give us the ability to actually send through the data as a URL um, encoded string okay so we can now pass the search params inside the body of the fetch request. Once again, fetch will see this is an instance of a URL search params and change the content type for us. But this currently has no data. Okay, so to actually transfer the data from this form data object into this search params object, you can loop through this and then basically append key value pairs to the search params object. All right, so down here, let's just loop through the form data object. So we can say for const pair of form data. And inside here, well, um, this pair is actually an array of two elements, the first one being the key and the second one being the value. Okay, so we're going to simply just say search params dot append and we're going to append pair at index 0 and pair at index 1 so this will run twice one for the username one for the password the pair 0 is going to be INP username and the pair 1 is going to be the value of the actual input field and same goes for the password okay so now we just save this and then refresh my browser and once again type in uh, DOM decode and decode YouTube as the password. Inside the network tab I can just uh, send through the request. We get here in the request headers we get content type of application slash um, form URL encoded and down here once again we have some form data just like normal and once again inside the console we have here um, the, the PHP output. All right, and that right there is how you can send form data using the Fetch API. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.